Bradley Beal joining us from down on the floor after another phenomenal performance. You came out, knocked down your first six shots. Were you feeling good before this one even started? Uh, first place, God. Uh, I definitely felt good. You know, I was a little uh, mad at myself for the last few games, just not being more aggressive, looking for my shot a little bit. Uh, KD's been on me about that in the last few, too. So uh, it felt good to be able to just come out and just look at the rim a little bit more, attack, obviously make plays, get in the paint. But... Even coach has said, he's like, you know, you can look at the basket every now and then and, and be yourself. So uh, it definitely felt good to see something go in. Uh, and we got to keep the rhythm going. Yep. Got to ask you about that finger. You, you seem to bother it on that, that dunk again. Dumb. You just can't get that thing not feeling better, huh? That was a dumb decision to hang on that rim like that. And I, I knew as soon as I jumped, I said, what are you doing, right? I had to do it because Ant-Man, he's super athletic. He probably would have would have blocked that easily if I, if I don't go up aggressive. So. It's good now. I was able to make some shots after that, so we're, we're good. We're well, good. you talked about getting uh, down on yourself making shots, but you know what? We have not uh, forgotten what you've done, sacrificed, you know, offensively, and that hasn't gone unnoticed. There's a lot of talk now about your role and how you've accepted it. What's been the toughest part about transitioning from being a top scorer and the number one option offensively to helping your teammates get good looks out there? Uh, I think just that. I think it's, it's really the balance of, of understanding, you know, when to be aggressive and, and obviously being in attack mode, touching the paint, you know, finding your teammates. So my biggest thing is understanding, you know, Nurk, Grayson, EG, you know, Royce, Bowl, like those guys, they don't create a lot off the dribble for themselves and one-on-one. -on -one, so we have to penetrate and get in the paint and force double teams and force kickouts, force, you know, swing, swing actions for them to be involved. And when they're involved, we're a better team. KD, Book, and I, we have a lot more space in the operate. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely thrilled with the, with the versatility we have and the depth we have. But, you know, it's imperative that we all understand that it's a sacrifice to be made from everybody. Everybody has to, has to, has to do something that they're probably uncomfortable with, you know. And my biggest thing is not scoring as much as I, I would love to. But if we're winning games, man, I don't give a damn how many points I score. <laughs> exactly. And I think that's the way people are as well. <laughs> a lot of people out there expected those big numbers from you too. And you have given them to them. But lately it's been setting your teammates up and you've done an unbelievable job of doing that. Thanks for spending some time with us on the radio, Bradley. Thanks, fellas. Great job, Bradley. Thank you. Congrats Cheers. on the victory. 14 points.